Hello everyone, MJT360 back at you again with another video. So today we're going over a tool that I'm going to be getting rid of. So, a couple, some time ago basically, I bought this Husky 3 inch air cutoff tool. Um, now, when I first got this tool, and when I have it right now, I still like it, I would highly recommend it. It's a great tool, it's powerful, it's... But we'll get to back back to that about how powerful it is. Um, it spins really fast. It's really quiet and smooth, and it's got a built-in silencer in the back. Um, but basically, on this thing, on the box, it says here: minimal requirement for optimal performance. Items sold separately. Twenty gallon minimum. Four point zero SCFM at ninety psi. Quarter inch input NPT male and a three eighths inch hose up to fifty feet. Now, I am running all of that. I've got the quarter-inch NPT male fitting right there. I've got a 3 8 inch hose. And I've got the 20-gallon air compressor with the 4.0 SCFM. Well, I guess what they didn't do is they didn't actually test the 4.0 SCFM at um, 90 because um, basically... I can't run this tool on my 20 gallon air compressor. I have a Husky 20 gallon air compressor that puts out 4.0 at 90 and 5.0 at 50 or 40. Yeah, 5.0 at 40. So basically, I cannot use this tool with a Husky air compressor, which makes absolutely no sense to me. They sell that air compressor and this tool at Home Depot. They sell a newer version that's a 200 PSI, but it still puts out the same rating as mine. Mine's just a slightly older model. And it won't work with this air compressor. Now explain to me why that doesn't seem right. Because when I figured that out, I was like, that makes no sense. Why would they sell you tools that don't work with the compressor that they have for sale at the store? Anyway, and also it's a Husky tool and a Husky air compressor, so you'd think they'd mat. The gears are not meshing properly in this system. Basically, so that's basically what it is, but um, it's 1.8 pounds, 20,000 RPM, 90 PSI, and um, the model of this one is H4210, and if you're trying to find this at Home Depot, um... The uh, SKU number is 1003097324. It comes with this nice carrying bag, it comes with a wheel, a wrench, and an Allen key, and that's it. Oh yeah, owner's manual. An owner's manual that's got eight pages, and it's actually nice. And this box is also pretty nice. But um, another thing, it can't fit the tool in the box with the air fitting still installed. I have tried it multiple times and it just doesn't fit. So that's another disappointing thing. But they did think about that because they made the wrench back here on, so they have this wrench here, which has got the small size, of course, for here, for here to hold this down to hold the wheel down so you can change it. And then they got the bigger wrench for back here. Well, anyway, they made it so then this small wrench can also be used for loosening and removing the air fitting, which is very helpful indeed. And now I'll show you how to change the wheel just because I have to take it off anyway before I put it back in the box. Um, you take the smaller end of this wrench, you stick it in here. Now I'm going to hold this with one hand, and I'm going to take my other hand, and I'm going to use it as with the Allen key. Ugh, that's tight. That was tight. I'm going to loosen this up all the way. And it's normal thread, I believe. But yeah, anyway, then you take this wheel and pop it off. Now this wheel is a nice wheel and all, it's a... Taiwan made 3 by 1 16th by 3 8 The made in Taiwan is no surprise. Um, it says, do not use on unguarded tools. Wear safety goggles and special max 25,000 RPM.
And then you're going to take this and just go. There you go. Just snug. And then these go back into here. So now the pros of this tool, I guess, is that, well, if you have an air, air, if you have an air compressor that's powerful enough, you can run this off an air compressor, which is nice. Um, it's got a three, it's the, oh yeah, the body is very slim on this tool, as you can see. So you can get full depth of cut. You can get about that much, about that deep of cut before the, um, before the motor runs into the bottom. Uh, it's powerful, really powerful actually for what it is for on um, this tool. It's really powerful. I like it. But the powerfulness, so some people online say this tool is junk. It doesn't have any power at all. Well, an air tool is run out of an outside source. So if your air tool is underpowered, it's probably also your compressor is underpowered. Because I've seen some compressors that are like 80, 90, 100 gallon air compressors. And then they're pushing like 120 PSI out of the line. And they're just chugging through metal like crazy. Mine isn't that. Mine's a 20 gallon air compressor. But here's a tech tip when you're buying an air compressor. Buy the biggest air compressor that money can af that you can afford in your budget. Don't go like, I'm just going to buy this little pancake compressor because I'm running like little tiny tools like an air. Like if you're running a framing nailer or a... um. Or like um, brad nails, um, staple guns, stuff like that. Pancake compressors is the way to go. Because that runs off of short bursts. How do I know that they run great with framing nailers? Because I've used framing nailers and air compressors together. Give you the idea. I just rebuilt... I just rebuilt this beauty for a next for my next door neighbor. It had a jammed nail in it, but... It's a Hitachi framing nailer. This is not about the video, but I know that you can run a compressor, a little tiny air compressor, like a pancake compressor with one of these framing nailers. So yeah, there you go. Tech tip. So, would I recommend this for the average DIY homeowner? No, I would not recommend it for the average DIY homeowner. Strictly because you need a massive freaking air compressor to run it. Would I recommend this for a um, home, like a uh, a uh, perfect, like a contractor? Hmm, maybe. You know what this is good for? This is good for what it was designed for. Running off at working sheet metal in the automotive shop. If you have a really big air compressor and you uh, really want something good, also this comes with a three-year limited warranty if you buy it from Home Depot. Um, but yeah, if you if you're an automotive person, like working in an automotive shop and you're doing cars, or if you just have a really big air compressor and you're going to use this not a lot, I would buy it. Don't buy the Harbor Freight one. And also don't buy the Harbor Freight wheels. This is not the Harbor Freight wheel, but don't buy the Harbor Freight wheels. The Warrior wheels, they suck. Buy the Chief brand wheels. They're so much better. They cut faster. Even though the war, even though the Chief claims, claims to be a 60 grit wheel and the Warriors are 40, don't buy the Warriors. They wear, they wear down way too quickly. But, um, yeah, so that's the quick overview of the Husky 3-inch cutoff tool. Um, I will be replacing this with something else. I will not be telling you what it is because you'll just have to wait and see so you can come back. So, um, please like, comment, share, do whatever you have to do to get this video out to people. And, as always, have a great and safe rest of your day. Bye.